but into the into the breach we go again. Let's uh let's get ourselves evading and armored. Hey uh hey sleeping. Uh it goes well. It's I'm playing on the hardest difficulty of the last spell at the moment. I've finally reached uh, Apocalypse 4, which is the the top end, and the game has changed pretty radically. Uh it's no longer possible to push the fog back uh, the way that I was doing it previously. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I already failed once. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're heading in to see what, uh, see what happens. But, yeah, I'm trying a very different strategy. Um, unclear if it will, uh, if it will pay dividends. Can you just, if you step here, can you? We just, I decided to go big stun plays with, uh, with Ramsey here. So we'll see if that's, yeah, I'm halfway through, but the, the first half is definitely the half I'm less concerned about. <laughs> uh, my last run ended because I uh, I ran into bulkies, which are an enemy that stuns. Uh, wait, oh, these bats weren't in the picture. That's really annoying. Um, but uh, yeah, I ran into bulkies, which are the bad guys that stun. And I just had basically nothing I could do with them. Um, I just kind of, I sat there, they entered the map, they immediately stunned both my characters on one side, and I was just uh, dead before daylight. All right, that's probably the best. Uh, so I, I did decide on, on this character to go for a single weapon, uh, the single weapon build. Um, I, I just wanted to get as many stuns out there as possible was my thought, uh, but we will see. Um, let's see. So if I move to here, I can, all right, I can get these. Now, we have a lot of movement on this character, so hopefully we're going to be able to do a lot of stabbery. We still have... Alright, we can still fully retreat, so that's good. Alright, so this side turned out alright for the first time around. Yeah, I feel like... I, I feel like stun was working pretty well. I've never really invested in stun, so I wanted to try building up uh, a bit of a stun build and see what happened. Um, I'm also trying out traps with the trapper perk, um, but it's unclear to me if that's working either. I need to double check it in a second here. So the hammer hits quite hard and also stuns. And I got an early uh, got an early skill range on this guy, so I was like, the combination might be pretty uh, pretty devastating. I do need to come around and deal with this one though. Hate to see the dodges. Um, all right. Got some good poison, got some good stuns. A little worried Catalina's going to take a hit or two. Now, hold on. Did these traps. So, okay. 
They still only have one use. I ended last turn in this location. Per the perk, Trapper, any trap around you, diagonals included, of the hero at the end of their turn regenerates one use. Maybe these have an upgrade path and I need to upgrade them to get more uses. Because last time they just broke after one use and it was like rather uh, rather useless. Um, and it seems to be it is still pretty useless. Um, All right, let's see what we're doing here. Um, nope. I don't think we have to worry about stun issues on this one. They're no bulkies, I don't think, but... We are going to have problems with these guys if they start stealing my action points. Alright. So yeah, the idea was just kind of to slowly whittle them down while stunning everybody in sight on this side. Uh, that also has the benefit of uh, fulfilling a quest that I haven't done before. So that was the other thought. Okay, now that, that, now that we've split that up, I think we can safely drop a lightning and see who that explodes. Move back a bit. Actually, I guess you have you still have a follow attack. Is there anywhere to That was a big hit? Alright, we'll do that and now on to this mess. Uh six heroes. Uh, is the Mac is what you cap out at with a fully uh, fully upgraded fully upgraded in uh, which I do not have obviously at the moment um, I'm gonna try and get rid of the archers here I think Should have used this sooner, actually. Um, still gonna, still gonna go ahead and use it, and we'll see how well it does. Okay, now let's get in here. I will say it's pretty awesome having like a, a hyper mobile melee character. She has 12 movement points by default, which is pretty sweet. Stun traps, but see now they're now the stun traps are used up and they don't they don't recoup. So I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to work. Good dodges. And the hope is we don't lose any ballistas. Okay, so we'll start here. So hmm. we only have one action point left. I'm just going to loop around to this side, I think, then. Of course you missed. Uh, 
Okay, so we have to get this guy out of here. Even though he's stunned, he's uh, he's still a problem. B is for everybody. Now I need you to move back one, I guess, because I want to be able to drop a lightning in here and if it had spread perfectly it would have it would have killed them so even though that one was stunned i had the opportunistic opportunity opportunistic opportunity that's that's a new one uh so we'll get that cluster that cluster and that cluster We're burning through mana on on this character for sure. But we're also doing good work. Look at that movement range. out the bat they're gonna be more annoying and then I guess we can get some back protection off of this uh... oh I don't like that that guy made it in that far where did he even come from oh, well all he did was kill one of his friends and uh, that was about it Probably be using that more often. Um, oh, and I'm already, I'm already tapped out. The action points go real fast. Oh, what did I just do? Okay, jump over. I was going to say, I just really made it very difficult for... Uh, I hope it goes this way. Thank you. Probably gone a little too deep on, on the mana uh, on my caster. Sandwich you two over there, and then unlimited power. I don't know that I agree. Okay, th this is the character that needs to get leveled up, so. They are also pretty sweet. I like the rogue build. I want to make more of that. Okay. But this one is the one that... All right. The poison's going to do a lot of work here. So... Now you get you have tons of mana, so I really should be using Mega Stomp more frequently. Kadoke. 
Switch over to opportunistic to try and get the one shot on that guy. Might as well get rid of this dude. All right. What do we got going on over here? All right. You can run 9,000 miles, so do that. Uh, three left. I don't think I see them yet. I really wish that it only told you about... Uh... Yes, yeah, so I'm next to those. They still only have one use. Um... I wish I only told you about baddies that were on the on the map. Would be much easier. It said two, I killed one. Maybe I missed it. But the count felt felt off there. Ooh, Ramsey. The only certain weapons work well for the the weapon specialist, and I'm not convinced that uh, that the two-handed mace is one of them. But we're doing okay right now. I think we're about to get our third direction of invasion. Okay, still just two. See what we got from the armorer. Rogue pants. Carlotta. You have movement pants, which are pretty nice. It's basically exactly what you have. And the reinforced shield doesn't do us any. Eh, it does us a the reinforced shield does us a little good. Um I could but I could also let go of one movement point. 11 is still a lot of movement points. Oh, hello. I think Carlotta might have just found a new weapon. To replace the dagger. All right, this is going to be an interesting build. I've not done a build like this before, but swap that in there. And then the spear comes in. Now these pants are nice. What did these have? Mm, not, not so sure I swapped those pants in. Uh, we have a lot of stuff though. We have a lot of money for sure. Um, I may end up doing these so that we can get some more uh, defenses going because I don't think this is the time for us to get another hero. But let's, uh, I want to spend a little bit of time cleaning up some of the remaining ruins. Oh, and we're maxed out on houses now. Okay. Our economy is going pretty well. Let's do our level ups. Range damage is solid there. Momentum is not really what we wanted to see there. Uh, Thrifty is good though. Catalina, another action point. 
I don't know that we can take advantage of it. It's hard to say no to that, though. Um, get you Initiator, for sure. Carlotta. Impale Momentum. Multi-hit. Multi-hit. So we'll take the reliability. I'm not sure that's going to do us a lot of good, but... I haven't taken Leapfrog before. Let's grab it. I, I see how it could have a lot of value, but... Okay, we still have a ton of money. Oh, Rogue Armor for Carlotta. Yeah, we'll probably grab that just for the... Oh, wait, but the Slayer Armor. Yeah, we'll grab the Slayer armor for sure. Oh, plus 15% chance to stun too. What would we be losing on Ramsey for that? Basically nothing. So we'll grab that. This is all getting sold. We got a better Druid staff, potentially. No. Not a, oh wait, that one's not better. This one also not better. Carlotta. You are looking fly in your Slayer armor. And then Ramsey, you can now, you have a lot of stun chance. Can I see what your stun chance is? It's only 38%. Really? Well, I think that's an adder, so maybe it's not that bad. So I have 255, which means... Continue upgrading these. We can spend the 30 here. If we had two workers, we could have taken this out as well. Might have wanted to go for materials there, but... Potions of Strength, eh? How long do they last? Just for the turn. Let's get another scavenger camp. Okay, that'll be all our money. So now, I think, I don't know if I want to go in on walls or not. Seasoned Operator would have probably been a good investment as well. Um, if I just started doing stone wall across like this. Wow, that chewed up our resources insanely quickly. Okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> well, these two are going to have fun. I don't know. Uh, 
given the setup, maybe guard towers have a lot more value, but we'll see how well this works over here. Alright, here goes nothing. Night seven. They're just instantly on the walls. Okay, so it is bulkies. I don't even feel like I can stun very effectively. Um, are you even in the map? No, you're not. Hey, Robbie, how's it going? Uh, so, so we're playing on the, the hardest difficulty now, uh, and it's changed things quite a bit. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out the best strategy here because uh, you can't push back the fog anymore at the top difficulty. Uh, the fog uh, encroaches much faster, so. So that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to puzzle out right now uh, is how to handle that. Okay, let's leap you over. Um, okay, where do we start? We start here, here, and here. Okay, pretty good. really hard to use that effectively um yeah so we got we got our butts kicked in the last one we're doing a little better this time but uh still still struggling a little Can we get that guy? No. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think the best way to do this is to... Oh, didn't quite get there. Um... Jump back over. Jump back over. All right. Yeah, these bulkies are going to be the biggest problem. So these big dudes right here, they stun. Uh, and so we have to make sure that we get them killed before they, uh, before they stun our heroes or they'll just kill us. That was... That was bad, though. Um, holy cow. All right. Gonna move over here. Uh, Oh, that almost hit our... That was almost bad. I 
Did not get the stun on the bulky. Um, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna try and slow the bulky down so it doesn't get very far. From here, can I? Nope. All right, so I missed that one up there. That's just going to be unfortunate. And the way it is. Uh, yeah, we're taking some panic. Let's see how we do over here. Um, now, the interesting thing that I'm realizing... ...is that I can't actually jump over the wall right now. I guess I can free up a space this way. All right, I guess that's what I have to do. Uh, Cause I was relying on the idea of jumping over the wall, but that we weren't able to do that initially. Um, okay, so you have nine movements still. If you move to here, can you? All right. That did not do very much damage. Um, okay. That was okay. Um, gonna get the speedy boys taken care of, hopefully. Uh, Back over we go. Whew, all right. This guy's not moving anywhere, so that's good. So. Is that two bulkies I see? Not good. We may lose that ballista, which is bad. The ballista in the lower right. I think this guy's gonna hit it. Stop shooting my mage. Okay, so once again, just to get, the problem is just to get, actually, if we move to here, we can jump over, okay. So. It's a good one, Robbie. I wish you could play it too. All right, that was underwhelming. Um, just got to get these bulkies down so they don't stun us. Uh, all right, back over we go. And now, let's see what we can do with... Uh, with our spear wielder. Um, so I'm gonna block up this hole. No, oh, I can't actually block up this hole very effectively. Uh, I guess we'll do that. All right. This side is hurting and I partly attribute it to the action economy of only having this mace. Um, We're getting lots of stuns off, but... This bulky is not... Is, I can't help but notice that this bulky is still not stunned. Um... Poisoned to high heaven, but... Okay, let's see if we can get line of sight to...
put some serious damage in on the bulky. Okay, it is officially dead. Um, okay, this guy is still a problem. We didn't get them down, but that's the whole turn. Whew. We're definitely getting overrun on the on the bottom side. I don't I don't know about this one. I think yet again. Well, we may get a We may get the stun achievement. <laughs> Ooh, stay alive, mage. Okay, so let's start out with this. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have to kill ten to uh, to get the achievement. Unfortunately. All right. Up and over we go. I should probably start looking at this side at least. Um, all your movement, is it? Okay. If we start out with a lightning here. Oh. That was not everything I hoped it would be. Oh. We gotta take this guy out or the, the spell will fall. Um, hitting these these bats on the side. This is a good target for poison, I think. We're definitely in danger of losing our uh, losing our gold mines if we're not careful here. Uh, all right. Well, that's pretty much all we got. Okay, we still have a few actions over here. The horde is thinning. That's one way to look at it. We're leaking like a sieve is the way I see it. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I think in this case, we're better off opening like this, I think.
All right, Carlotta. Oh, that was... You hate to see that. Hmm, do you have any actions left? No. Oh, and you, you duffed it. Dang. Now we don't have enough for Blade Rush. This side's decently under control. This side is where the where the bad news is living. Um, Three to kill that one? Shouldn't be able to propagate to our, uh, to our friend. Eh, just double it up. We're, we're already overrun with panic. It's not gonna... Not gonna make a difference. Jeez. Gonna have to do some uh, some research after the stream to figure out what uh what the strat is when it comes to uh to Apocalypse Four. Okay, let's move you here, and then... Hold on. <laughs> move you to here. There we go. Now we can do this. This. Eh, let's get rid of you as well. quite get there for that last one. That's okay, though. Oh, did move you into a bad position. That's a waste of mana, but what are you going to do? All right, let's see. I'm locked in here. Curious. If I don't get the the baddies stunned uh, stunned achievement during this one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Should be, both be extremely dead, yeah. They are. Okay, we don't have any movement anywhere for the most part. Actually, let's move to here. Block this guy. Oh, that guy didn't die. This guy's gonna whack our gold mine.
Okay, wait, you're just, you're dead, yeah. Just get you out of here. Get you out of here. Everything must go. <laughs> Can't get that last one now. Died of poison, I guess. Don't think they were poisoned, though. 100 HP lost. Mostly on Catalina. Took a bunch of panic. Hurts us pretty badly. In terms of resource generation. Stunned 15 enemies. Nice. We must have gotten it. <laughs> Hello again. Yes, the spiked set. We need to get someone to 300 hit points. I wonder how close we are to that. Probably not very close. 189, 152, 163. Yeah, we're not very close. Um... Damage and crit looks pretty good. But also, Carlotta, you have the rogue pants. And then heavy armor with that on it. I think it's leather cape. Yeah, leather cape is good. Big strike out here. Yeah, Ramsey just stun was not what uh, what the doctor ordered. Um, but we'll do some level ups here. That was a whole bowl of nothing right there. Uh, we'll grab Thrifty, and then Carlotta was the other one to level up. Daily health regen for the armor increase. Um, I'm going to go specialist again. Which may be a controversial controversial move, but given we're, we're about to lose, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, let me take a look at... Is it 10 enemies? Or is it nine enemies to get the Meteor Ring unlocked? Nine enemies. Okay, so I did that specifically to try and get that unlock. Um, we'll, we'll see if that works. But I don't really have a good plan otherwise. I think it's 10,000 for epic items. Or for more legendary items or whatever it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to save up for epic item production too. The hope is Carlotta can get a disgusting triple swipe. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, if she hits, if she hits a perfect cluster, then good things will come. Uh, okay. Let's get all the materials we can get. I 
think you're coming up here. But yeah, I don't I don't think this is a good build strategy at all. Um Yeah, so uh, so total sleeping, I find that an entire run takes me just about five hours at the moment. Which is decently long. So we're going to go... It is indeed. Um, all right, we're gonna go two ballistas here, and then I'm gonna try and stonewall in front of them. That's all we get. Jeez, brutal. Um, we're gonna spend the money on seasoned operators for everybody, uh, but I don't think we have enough to really make a difference. Um, that's all our money too. Huh, wow, that went fast. Uh, okay, the Fake Cloak is going on Charlene. The Reinforced Shield might as well go on. No, wait, you can't wear it, but you can wear a shield. So we'll do that. Plus two action points for mana and movement. That's interesting. Gladiator's armor. I think the thing that I need to build is I actually need to... Uh... Oh, can't afford it. Never mind. I wanted a temple since uh, we got a bit of a health problem here. But we'll rectify it with a potion, hopefully. What did basically nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's okay, though. We're mostly in this for as many triple swipes as we can get that hopefully kill everything. Um, oops. Don't move them. See if we got anything interesting in our in our further productions. Some vicious boots with propagation damage on them. That's actually interesting. Slayer's pants look really good. Carlotta, I think you already have some pretty good pants, don't you? Yeah, you have rogue pants. You have heavy greaves, which makes you very tanky. Are these better? Yeah, 10% crit is definitely better. But then this... 15% chance to stun versus... Propagation damage? Yeah, it's probably better. Okay, now we get enough money to... Build the temple. <laughs> At least get our characters healed up. Okay. We left four workers on the table, which is not great. We have nothing to tear down. We've used workers in all of these to the maximum that we can. Yep. I think that's what we got going on. 
Oh, I wanted to check to see if these get upgraded. They don't get upgraded. Absolutely baffled by how Trapper is supposed to work. No idea. Because they don't get additional uses when I stand next to them. So I think Trapper is just a broken perk. Any trap. These are stun traps, I believe. Stun trap. They say trap right in their name. All right. Um, okay. Likely the end of our uh, of our attempt here. In fact, I'm just going to leave it as part of the same recording. I'm around the corner here just in case it's bulkies. To the walls. Oh, that's an awkward angle for them to be coming in. Also, I can't help but notice that it's the dodgy folks, which is a real bummer. Um, Interesting. Hmm. Limit five per turn. Oh, Leapfrog seems really, really good. So noted. This is always my favorite because the poison just bounces back and forth between them. So yeah, so that one got three stacks, that one got three stacks, so they're both roasted. Um, Carlotta's going to have a real hard time down here. really hard time actually now that I look at it my hope was that I was going to get uh, going to get an opportunity for a nice packed bunch but I don't even think that's going to happen hitting nice and hard with her, but the dodges are also going to make killing 10 at once really hard with Carlita. Hmm. 
That's probably the best. Really? I don't know if that's the best way to get enough damage in, but... Okay, the Propagate, that's not going to help much. Um... Yeah, it doesn't... Oh. That was... Viciously disappointing. Um, and yeah, if I stand next to these, nothing happens. So, not sure what to make of those. Can I even get a shot at this guy? No. If I come out this way, I think I can. Just being on the outside of the walls here is really dangerous. Okay, that... There's some small chance that Carlita might be able to find a perfect, uh... Perfect grouping now that this is, like... Landed. But I... I do feel like the energy drain dudes are just gonna... Are just gonna drop us. Because like, I don't think I... I don't think I'm gonna get a good one-shot at them. Like, I think there is a spot here... There's like one person missing from making that work. That is very, very unfortunate. That was a hit and a half, holy cow. Yeah, we may not have just have the ability to land a land a shot there at all. Getting the range uh, was an interesting one. Um, Okay. Getting the range buff on the melee character was interesting, is what I mean to say there. Um, This guy. Now, how many squares does this hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. So that explains why it can't, uh, can't do what I need it to do. That's all she wrote. Like, over here, I think I could find a spear target. Maybe I should just run over. Abandon ship. That's a lot of hit points. Wow, you're, you're supposed to be so tanky. Oh, you 
almost died too. I think there might be, there's some small chance that, come on. I only have four action points, so I can only do... Hold on. Let's try and get the math right here. From right here... Nope, there's an empty square there. Um, I think I just retreat and try and find it next turn. Try and avoid dying for one turn. Is such a thing even possible? Okay, now. Oh, the number of dodges that I just saw pop up there was truly heartbreaking. Um, Let's just stop the front movers here. Get rid of the axe, the axe kin. Double poison on this cluster should completely delete them. Oh, almost. just trying to hope that these cluster up so that Carlotta can get an amazing turn. Um, oh, that's the dead. I think the last spell just died. I let that axe guy get in. Well, we weren't winning it one way or the other. Uh, but we had two good attempts. And I think I finally had it. Yep. So spear looks like the way to get the meteor ring. I mean, but I could also go back to... could go back to level zero and really easily get it. Um, yep. Now, okay, let me recall. As usual, ranged in the lead, spellcaster second, and then... Ramsey, who was there from the beginning, did some work. Um, but yeah, Apocalypse 4 continues to be a big challenge. I think we made it one day longer than we did last time. This bug is also odd. Um, I can't actually get things. Um, so I will get them another time. But, uh, but yeah, I think that's it for... Uh, that's it for the last spell for tonight.